One small stumble for man as we build a space shuttle. I drive a nuclear bomb disguised as a Mercedes. And Simon Pegg makes a hot fuzz in our reasonably priced car. Help! to an argument. You see, you see, there are two types, two types of petrol heads. You've got uh, idiots like this who like the Porsche 911, and you've got people like me who'd rather have anthrax than a 911 because I'm a Ferrari person. Yes, but when you actually owned a Ferrari, you couldn't leave it parked on the street, go out for dinner in it or anything, because you spent the whole meal worrying about who was bumping into it or carving their name into its precious paint. That's true. I once left the roof off and it was so full of phlegm when I got back you could have swum home, but... Exactly, and therefore, as a result of that, it spent its entire life cowering at home in your garage, and when you were eventually brave enough to want to use it, by that time the battery was flat, it was hopeless. Yes, I know, but a, f a Ferrari with a flat battery is an aesthetic thing. You can enjoy looking at it. That's the... Yes, but it's not moving. That's why I love the 911, because you can use it every day to go to places. It's a car. And now there's a new turbo version, which we asked him to drive in the hope he'd see the light. This is the biggest 911 turbo they've ever made. But it's still no longer than a Toyota Prius, no wider than a 3 Series BMW. And unlike a normal supercar, it doesn't have Marilyn Monroe hips, so it doesn't get stuck in multi-storey car parks. <laughs> What's more, it's not like threading through traffic in a post box. In a Ferrari, you can't really see where the buses are, so you can't carve them up. But in this, you can. In a Ferrari, you'd be forever worried about graunching the nose on a speed hump. But not in the 911. And it doesn't even harm the sky very much, either. It may have a flat six twin turbo engine, but it only produces... 300 carbon dioxides. That's a hundred less than you get from the back of a Ferrari 430. And if you drive this car through a really polluted city, Los Angeles, Calcutta, Harrogate, something like that, the gas coming out of the exhaust